First, the uh, move to have Fulton County District Attorney Fawny Willis disqualified from the Trump election interference case wrapped up testimony late today. Good evening. Thanks so much for joining us for Fox 5 News at 6. I'm Tom Haynes and for Russ Spencer. I'm Courtney Bryant. Willis did not return to the stand after her fiery testimony Thursday, but her father did. Fox 5 I-Team reporter Randy Travis joins us live to explain why John Floyd was called as a witness. Randy? Yeah, Courtney, her dad testified that he never saw Nathan Wade at his daughter's house, uh, never even met him until last year. The state hoping to dispute allegations that Wade and Willis were dating before she hired him as special prosecutor. We did, though, get a glimpse through her dad into what life has been like for the DA since she started the Trump investigation. There have been so many death threats, uh, uh, and they said they were going to blow up the house. They were going to kill her. They were going to kill me, and I was concerned for her safety. John Floyd painted a frightening picture of what life was like for his only daughter after she announced her office was investigating Donald Trump. So much so, Fonnie Willis had to move out of the South Fulton home she built. Somebody needed to protect the house, and I stayed there to basically take care of the house, uh, to take care of the yard, to take care of that. Also, somebody sprayed, um, um, again, the B word and the N word on the house, and uh, I don't think my daughter even knew that. Uh, I cleaned it off. Defense attorneys argue a romance between Willis and special prosecutor Nathan Wade constitutes a conflict of interest so egregious the election interference charges must be dismissed. They also argue Willis benefited financially from hiring Wade because the two traveled on expensive vacations. Both testified Thursday that Willis repaid Wade for her share of those trips but had no receipts to prove it because she reimbursed him with cash. That's not unusual, said Floyd. Your Honor, I'm not trying to be racist, okay? But it's a black thing, okay? You know, I was trained, and most black folks, they hide cash, or they keep cash. We also learned Wade was not the DA's first choice to be special prosecutor. Former Georgia Governor Roy Barnes said Willis offered him the job, but he turned it down, wary of similar death threats he experienced when he removed the Confederate emblem from the state flag years ago. I told uh, D.A. Willis I didn't, I'd live with uh, bodyguards uh, for four years and I didn't like it and I wasn't going to live with bodyguards for the rest of my life. I can't remember when they were. Former Wade Law partner Terrence Bradley was originally billed as a hearing star witness. With defense attorney Ashley Merchant reading text she got from him referring to the romance between Wade and Willis. But Bradley was less than helpful and clearly did not want to testify. You're asking me if he, if he ever mentioned to me that he socialized. With Miss Willis, correct. And I'm saying I cannot recall if he socialized with Miss Willis, if he ever mentioned to me that he socialized. As we mentioned, uh, testimony is now finished for this hearing. The attorneys must come back for closing arguments. That won't happen for at least another week, maybe longer. And then Judge Scott McAfee must decide whether he's heard enough evidence, enough testimony to disqualify Fonnie Willis from the Trump election interference case. Reporting live outside the Fulton County Courthouse, Randy Travis, Fox 5 News. All right, Randy, thanks.